first they run it on second and they're so big and strong they're going to get a few yards and again Ben Roethlisberger limping off the field but Sean Ellis nobody open he's not knocked down and oh double team they hit him you look to the left of the offense Lee Mays is not open and on the right side they tried to do the same thing again three receivers over there but the Jets were ready good defense Robertson and Ellis will share the sack Gardaki well over a thousand punts now into his career has never had one blocked. And he faced some pressure with that one. Bounces at the 20 favorable boot and bounce just inside the five. Oh what a way to start 50 yard boot Jets will come out. عطاءات فنية التنافس الشريف والروح المثالية ترقب كل هذا من خلال منافسات كأس الأمير فيصل بن فهد تبث حاليا مباشرة على الرياضية This December on America Plus The Sopranos start the month with a tension filled season finale <laughs> So anything else A second dramatic season hit the strike team in the shield what am I supposed to do now? Stingers go deeper undercover in its fifth season. Are you ready for that? As well as new thrilling episodes of all your favorite series. Uh, look, I'm just trying to help you. Mind your own business. You please help us. We need to find it. I need that money. Yeah? Well, we all. I said open the door now. Get close to the drama this December on America Plus. You're my ride, sweeties. What's up, what's up? ما بتعملش حساب للوقت. وأنا خايفة من النهاية. وفكرك أنا أقدر أعمل حاجة. أنا جيت هنا عشان أحضر أحد من الجنود. بقول دلوقتي. يا هانم ما تحاوليش تستنى. شوكة تحاول وما أدري. وفهد بتاعك برضه حاول وما أدري. لكن بالذوق كل شيء ممكن. تفضل. امرأة منا في عرض أول قريبا على قناة سينما واحد. Charm, elegance, style, and sex appeal are qualities that can be found in married women, too. Judge for yourself the most alluring spouses of America in the beauty pageant that will make your head spin. Mrs. America 2004, Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Riyadh time on the Hollywood Channel. Well, the Jets on familiar ground. Back at their own four. Two turnovers, 12 penalties. First down run. And a long way to go for no gain. Harrison got to him first. Tonight is Survivor Sunday on CBS. It's down to four. Who will take home the million dollars? Don't miss the breathtaking finale. Plus, all 18 castaways return for a live reunion hosted by Jeff Probst. It's Survivor Sunday starting at 8, 7 Central on CBS. I said no gain. That's a, a loss, obviously, on that play. It was a loss of three yards, we'll call it. Another good year for Survivor, though, Jim. And if you want to know who wins, ask me. I already know. You know? Yep. I'd rather know who's going to win this game. Play well, <laughs> you don't know that. Do you, you? <laughs> you know my record about my prognostications of football games are horrendous. But you know, you look at the Jets. This is a big moment. Try to get out from their game own end three. zone because when you punt it, Pittsburgh's going to almost be in scoring territory. You think of that drive before halftime. That was like scoring points because you took away an easy scoring opportunity by the Steelers by just driving down the field even though it ended, ended in an interception you did not give an easy try to the Steelers yes. offense you save points third down and nine same situation again Pennington again able to pick up the first down to McCarron what a move what a play it takes a little guts to drop back stand in the end zone and wait for a receiver to go down the field Justin McCarron's down a little fake inside no, he doesn't even give the fake. He just sells it long enough down the field. Willie Williams looking at Chad Pennington, and that's why Justin McCarron gets wide open. A gain of 18, first down New York. Third catch for McCarron today. The Jets offense, they have come up with some big first downs. Go with Martin. He's got a hole, and he darts ahead to the 28. 
You know, Chad Pennington, when he faced the draft of 2000, the scuttlebutt was he was going to be picked with the eighth selection by the Pittsburgh Steelers. In fact, we asked him about it last Eight night, and he said he absolutely thought he was going to be a Steeler. They'd come down, worked him out. Bill Cower came down, met with his father, of course, as a high school coach, and he said his dad thought Coach Cower was really cool. They ended up taking Burris. Yeah, Bill's pretty cool. Yeah, listen, and even after the draft, Jim, there was a lot of talk in the next couple of days that they might do a trade. Long ball throw and over the shoulder catch by McCarrens. Willie Williams attempted the one on one coverage and the Jets hook up for the biggest play of the game 43 yards. Chad Pennington gets all of it when I mean when I say that he drops back and he throws it and it is comes off his hand perfectly. As far as he could get it out there, it's right on target to Justin McCarrens. And again, Willie Williams gets caught looking at the quarterback. He reacts a second late oh, and allows him to get by him. I think we're going to have a challenge here. Before the Jets could get to the line of scrimmage, Bill Cower wants to talk about it, wants to make sure McCarrens had control on both is feet. challenging the ruling on the field of the completed pass. Well, when I saw it live, I thought he had it easily. Here's the catch. One, two, clean. Well, that's the, the, the possession. There's a little ball movement, but you can have ball movement. So we'll look at it again when we come back. So while Walt Anderson reviews, we'll take a short break. This December, come to where the greatest movies are. Come to Cinema City. I'm in waiting for you. Every Monday, a different date with a different emotion awaits you with drama, comedy, and the most intriguing mysteries. I think, my dear, the best is yet to come for you. Tuesday and Wednesday nights are when Hollywood heroes shine in their best roles. Michael Keaton. I got the police after me. Morgan Freeman. Johnny Depp. I'm Sam. Leonardo DiCaprio, and many more. We're the wheel. No way. Every Thursday, a double bill featuring cinema's greatest stars will keep you stuck to your seat. That is clever. Maggie Smith, John Malkovich. You said I was your cousin. Well, that was a lie. Michelle Pfeiffer. The way I see it, you don't have a choice. And more, all times two. Every Friday, don't miss Daniel Steele's novels as they come to life on your screen. Enjoy all this when you come to the movies this December on Cinema City. Clara is the only person who can hear Charlie when he talks. She has very special hearing. You have to be very powerful to make Charlie blank. This is bigger than a, than a free meal. Will you get that goddamn car fixed and I will take care of the rest. If you want to be out of here in a week, you got to make concession. What the hell are you putting in that fish tank? <gasps> he blinked. He, he blinked. He blinked. No, no way. You can see blocks cracked. I changed my mind. You sign that contract or the fish gets it. <gasps> Don't blink. Now showing exclusively on TV Max. It is the third quarter, three nothing Pittsburgh. As Walt Anderson reviews a 43-yard catch well, ruled on the field to McCarron. Yeah, first he catches it. He definitely has control of the football. One foot, the other foot was down when he caught it. Even though the football moved, he had control. But what worries me, I saw Walt Anderson standing there, and when they stand there and they're talking, they're going, okay, where was the ball before? The catch? After reviewing the play, the receiver's left foot and his right foot are both inbounds. He does maintain control of the football. It is a catch. The ruling on the field stands. Pittsburgh is charged with its first timeout. It's that, one, of, the, one of those games where that timeout could be so critical it, at the end of the game. You're right, it could be, but it's about control. It used to be if the first football the moved ball. and all this it's other stuff, well, of course the ball is going to move. You're running full speed down the field trying to catch it. But Justin McCarrens had control, got both feet down. Good call. That came on second and five. The Jets were back at their own 28. The 43 yards is the longest catch as a Jet for McCarrens. And let me say again, what a throw by Chad Pennington. He's hit nine of his last ten. 
On first down with pressure, Pennington throws, looking for McCarrens again, and he's ruled out of bounds. Made the catch, but did not have the feet down. Boy, that was perfect timing by the Jets. You got them reeling a little. What do they do? They come back with a double move. They have McCarrens fake short. He goes deep, and Pennington just throws it outside too much. Look at the defender. The Shade Townsend is in full panic mode. Where's the? Where's my guy? He's lost. He's looking just to get back into the play. Pennington leads him out of bounds. Second down and ten from the Steelers' 29. Curtis Martin. Joey Porter collides with him at the 27. Third and long coming up. Third and eight. Curtis Martin. Curtis Martin, Jim, is finding it tough to get some yards. Joey Porter, number 55, he just times it perfectly from all the way to the opposite side of the formation in the run, comes across, and that's how you get turnovers. You just keep hustling to the football. You hit somebody when they're not ready. They're down and eight for the Jets. Corner blitz. Pennington up ahead to the 25 as Polamalu and Williams fall on him. Here is what's so hard, Jim, about this Pittsburgh Steelers defense. They are going to blitz, but the receiver is going to run a short route, but they send two defenders to cover him. Nobody in the league does this, and that's why the Jets were all concerned. And again, Chad Pennington, he knew it. He saw it and he held on to the football. Really an excellent play. Doug Bryan out to tie the game. 43 yards away from doing so. Dirth will snap it. Going on the hold and the kick. Down the middle by Doug Bryan. Now 19 of 22 on the season. Set up the 43 yard field goal. Set up by Justin McCarron's catch on third down and then the 43 yarder of his own. Very versatile. If you want to marry a girl, you cannot just go to her father's house and swap her for 15 gallons of insecticide. Oh my god, he's controversial. Oh, to the I'm not allowed to do this. I'm on the Secretary General. He's also off the wall. Can I borrow your underpants? Okay, no. Jolly irreverent. With full respect, why do you give crap countries a vote? But most of all, he's funny. The RDG show Wednesdays at 6 30 p.m. in real time on Super Comedy. He's so funny, this Ali G. امراه منا في عرض اول قريبا على قناه سينما واحد Elegance, style, and sex appeal are qualities that can be found in married women, too. Judge for yourself the most alluring spouses of America in the beauty pageant that will make your head spin. Mrs. America 2004, Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Riyadh time on the Hollywood Channel. When was the last time you saw Katie Mom? So what do we do with Dave? Jimmy, what did you do? Kevin Bacon stars in Mystic River, coming soon exclusively to TV Max. Here's the Monday night lineup still standing. Listen up, everybody loves Raymond. Two and a half men and CSI Miami, David Caruso. The Late Show, David Letterman as Jim Carrey. It's Monday here on CBS. Justin McCarron's with a couple of big plays. The Jets have tied it. I tell you what the Jets have done. They scored three and they took points off the board for the Steelers. Two tremendous drives from their own four yard line. Hopefully on the run back and not much operating road. Only a 13 yard return askew on the hit. We'll see Big Ben come back out with the game tied. Welcome to a world where the students become the masters. A world where high achievement isn't just an expression, 
A world where the stars rise up in the sky. Welcome to the wonderful world of college football on Orbit ESPN. Days at 11 p.m. Riyadh time on America Plus. This December on TV Max, it's the fastest path to the most recent releases. Look deep into the soul of Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, and Kevin Bacon as they face their most intimate fears in Clint Eastwood's multi award winning masterpiece, Mystic River. This is my turn! <laughs> See the two sides of the man who chose to live two lives in the exclusive drama Assassination Tango. Tomorrow evening, I intend to do my job. Witness the fate of the Earth when the dogs take over in the exclusive family movie, Good Boy. I have come here on an important mission from the home star. Enjoy the best of Shakespearean drama <laughs> fully acted in Arabic in the exclusive play, King Lear. Hello. Experience how the power of love can transform even the most unconventional Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez in Julie. It means you're not my type. Take the fastest path to the most recent releases this December on TV Max, your home movie theater. We're back in Pittsburgh with the game tied mid-third quarter. 3-3, 34 yard field goal by Jeff Reed in the first quarter. Matched here in the third. 43 yards out by Doug Bryan of the Jets. Steelers from the 27. Play action. Roethlisberger with time. And he dumps it to Deuce Staley with Vilma in on the tackle right away. Steelers trying to change this game around, get some emotion, get some rhythm back on their side. That's why they come starting out this drive with a play action pass. Their offense has been shut down, dominated so far. So you got to open it up and make the Jets at least guess what you're going to do. Well, that pass on first down gained nine yards. Second down and one. And Staley will lose yardage. What a first hit as uh, Brian Thomas and Vilma. Oh, boy. You said what a first hit, Jim. Brian Thomas taking over for John Abraham. They were actually worried today. Uh, Donnie Henderson said, I might put some guys next to him. You know, Brian Thomas is not a really big real thick heavy guy he was afraid the Steelers would run at him and or they were afraid that they would run at him and have success but he is having one good game replacing John Abraham he did it early in the year and played very well too and yeah, that was the game against Baltimore where he replaced John Ellis for a game third and three out of the shotgun they go with Willie Parker and the rookie has the first down into the Jets secondary out to the 47. What a find, the undrafted rookie out of North Carolina who had a huge carry against the Jags last Sunday night. Yeah, you could almost say he won the game against the Jaguars. A quick snap by Ben Roethlisberger. Didn't give the Jets defense time to settle in. Caught him off guard with the draw. They're actually a draw trap. They block it left. Alan Fanica pulls right. Nice call. Good execution by the Steelers offense. Picks up 14 yards for the first down. Five minutes to go, third quarter. Staley working the middle for more yardage and banging straight ahead, just driving back Reggie Tung. I tell you, football is an amazing game sometimes. You just shut out, there's nothing going on. You, you get a lot of yards on first down, you lose some on second. You pick up a big third down, and now you get going again. Look at the push up front. Dan Kreider, nice block by him that gives Deuce Staley some extra yards another first down for the Steelers they've got the Jets Dwayne Robertson lined up as in well, back in at tackle they lined up on the, at end on the last play Roethlisberger's pass is picked off it's picked off by Reggie Tung and Tung is out of bounds at the 46 it was tipped by Donnie Abraham 
And the rookie has been intercepted for the second time today. Painting four, la lune et la fromage. Refusing to use traditional painting techniques, the artist mixed bodily fluids with the remains of his dog's lunch and asked a close friend to actually do the painting whilst he watched through a window from his garden. Trigger Happy TV. You turn it down. Okay. Wednesdays and Thursdays at 3.30 p.m. real time on Super Comedy. Sorry. Are you excited about games? Concentrate and try the thrill of being a winner. Play and enjoy uplifting and entertaining game shows. Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and Hollywood Squares. Saturday to Wednesday, starting at these local times on the Hollywood Channel. Days. Could this be a sign? I was supposed to get married today, see, but she had to go and get hit by a bus. Don't say it that way. Eleanor seems to think so. Excuse me, but I do have a life. Wait. Yeah. But her parents aren't so sure. Shut up. We have a funeral to go to, huh? Join Elena Batista in her quest for a better life in Ciao Bella. Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Riyadh time only on Super Comedy. Nahmi. Wa nakhdim. Stay put. Al mawsim al-thani min the shield ala America Plus. Roethlisberger has been picked twice in his last four attempts. He's five for 14 for the game. And Reggie Tung with the interception sets up the Jets at their 46. Curtis Martin met wow. right away by James Harrison. What a game Harrison has had stepping in for Clark Higgins. Let's go back to the interception. Donnie Abraham, he's looking at single coverage on the outside. If you remember, earlier in the game, he got an illegal contact down the field. Ben Roethlisberger looks left, he turns right and throws it. Excellent technique by him. That's the way they teach it. It was a predetermined throw by the Steelers. They always do it, but Donnie Abraham, he learned. He saw it once, he reacted the proper way the second time. Both quarterbacks picked twice. Second and 14, Martin able to brush away one hit and get back out to the 45, but it'll be third and 11 coming up. You know, entering week 14, a number of five and seven teams in the NFC, and uh, you will cast your vote at NFL.com, which one you think has the best chance of making the playoffs. What a devastating loss for Dallas now, dropping back to five and eight, and the Giants manhandled by Baltimore today to also fall back one. Well, Carolina's, I think, still winning today, and they have been the hottest team of all of them. Third down, third and 11. Inside of three minutes, third quarter. And Moss makes the catch out of bounds. Ike Taylor was running with Santana Moss. Santana Moss is just too quick with the route. Good protection here, at least good enough for Chad Pennington, but he gets outside so fast, Pennington has to lead him out of bounds. Boy, Joey Porter, after Pennington released that football, just decked the quarterback. Well, they had two extra protectors in there to give Pennington the time, so that tells you how good they can rush the pass. Randall L. back, who can certainly break open a game. Going, boots it to him. He's going to let it go. What a bounce. The Jets, do they get there in time? Oh, bad mistake. Foot was on the end zone line. And it is ruled a touchback. Daryl McClover. عطاءات فنية، التنافس الشريف، والروح المثالية. ترقب كل هذا من خلال منافسات كأس الأمير فيصل بن فهد. تبث حاليا مباشرة على الرياضية. قابل أبطال الأناقة أمثال أنجلو وراني كما 
فيلا بونا وما رأيكم في رافائيل كوريال أو باكو رابان واصلوا رحلة الجمال مع نجومها ب أناقة الجمعة في الأوقات التالية على قناة اليوم Even the best teachers She murdered her lover's wife Can still learn I'm hanging on by my fingernails The hard way How would you like to face the rest of your life in prison for something you didn't do? Peter Coyote and Natasha Kinski in Red Letters. Saturday at these times, new and exclusive on Super Movies. The level of talent has risen. The anticipation is at an all-time high. Dressed for success once again. The NBA Live Thursday with the following game on Orbit ESPN. It's almost taking points off the board for the New York Jets. They would have got it inside their 50 problem. Instead from the 20. Thomas Berger looks right side and he has Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward out to the 40. And finally Eric Coleman is able to twist him down. But 26 yards he got away from Buckley. Well, the last throw was to the inside. Bill Cower believes if the corner's inside, throw it outside. It's a major part in a philosophy of their offense. Buckley makes a bad decision. He goes underneath for the interception. The football gets by him, and he gives up a lot of extra yards because of that decision. And that's the first play today by the Steelers that went for over 20 yards. 26 in all. Staley right into Sean Ellis. No turkey neck. On that play by the defensive line <laughs> of the Jets, you might want to explain as you take a look at the uh, last five possessions, three punts and uh, a pair of interceptions since the field goal in the first quarter. Well, you talked about the turkey neck. That's Donnie Henderson, defensive lineman. Hit your guy in offense. Stay there and wait for the runner. Don't peek to the right or the left with your head, or as he says, turkey necking it, because when you do that, <laughs> The offensive lineman's going to move you. The runners see it. They make cuts. You give up big yards. So, in other words, he's telling the defensive lineman, have some discipline. Wolfsberger goes short, and there is room for Staley. Staley down to the 31. Kedrick Vincent throws a huge block, and the Steelers are picking up some momentum and rhythm with 21 yards on that play. I tell you, this is the first time all day. Mark Brown, it looks like he might have the running back, Staley, coming out of the backfield. I'm not sure, but there were no Jet defenders to the right of the Steeler offense. It's the first time where it looked like they were actually out of position to make a play. Good call by the Steelers. Bettis comes in for Staley. 31-yard line, first down, final seconds, third quarter. They go with the bus. Plows ahead for a couple. Robertson and Ferguson combine on the hit on what will be the last play of the quarter. Herm Edwards and the Jets. They uh, shut out the Steelers in the third quarter, but Pittsburgh is driving. They are driving as we head to the fourth quarter. All tied. Could this be a sign? I was supposed to get married today, see, but she had to go and get here by a bus. Don't say it that way. Eleanor seems to think so. Excuse me, but I do have a life. Wait. Yeah. But her parents aren't so sure. Shut up. We have a funeral to go to, huh? Join Eleanor Batista in her quest for a better life in Ciao Bella. Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Riyadh time only on Super Comedy. When she joined another family. You are too special to get stuck in this house. She put her own life on hold. 
This is not a good time for me to have a date. Now. So. So? I met someone. <laughs> she has to get it back. I really hope you find what you're looking for. Rhapsody in Bloom, Sunday at these times, new and exclusive on Super Movies. These days, he's very versatile. If you want to marry a girl, you cannot just go to her father's house and swap her for 15 gallons of insecticide. Oh, my God, he's controversial. Oh, to the park, allowed to do this. I'm the secretary general. He's also off the wall. Can I borrow your underpants? I don't know. Jolly irreverent. With full respect, why do you give crap countries a vote? But most of all, he's funny. The Ali G Show, Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. in real time on Super Comedy. He's so funny, these Ali G. We're going to start the fourth quarter in Pittsburgh. First, a reminder tonight the finale of Survivor Vanuatu. It's Survivor Sunday. We're down to four. Who will take home the million dollars? Plus the live reunion show afterwards. It's here tonight on CBS. Second down and eight for the Steelers. And Staley may have been hurt at the end of that pass and catch and run down to the 31. Walking gingerly on the sideline. Bettis in the meantime comes in, spins away, picks up the first down to the 17 yard line. Dan Kreider, the fullback, helped open up a gap for Jerome Bettis. Well, we talked about how Bill Cowher loves to save Jerome Bettis for late in the game for plays just like this. Good blocking up front, but it's good hard running by Jerome Bettis. Gets away from Dwayne Robinson and gets those extra yards. And the crowd, they love him. It gets everybody going when the, when the big guy gets those tough yards. First down at the 17. back to Jerome who slides in goes sideways to the 12. You know most teams get hot they throw the football because the passing game gets in rhythm. The Steelers they're unique they're tough they get hot when they start having a few good runs. It just brings everything into play for their offense. Second down and six. He is over 13,000 now on his career. Jerome Pettis in the Hall of Fame career. He's got the football again. Stood up at the 10. Third and short yardage coming up. We'll call it third and three. For a Pittsburgh drive that could have started inside the one yard line, but. The foot on the line, touch back out to the 20. You know, Jim, and you're not making too big of a deal of that. You've heard me say many times, play calling, feelings of players, defensive play calling, it all changes according to field position. So uh, in a game that you know is going to be tight, little mistakes become big, and that little mistake became a real big one. It is third and three, right at the 10-yard line. Bettis is going to throw for it. Bettis throws the touchdown to Jeremy Tuman. Well, the New York Jets are going, boy, teach us how to run that halfback pass. But when you run the football like the Steelers do, there's no shame in giving up a touchdown like that. you got to commit to the run. Jerome Bettis, the old, the old veteran who knows how to fake people out when it's there, gets it done. Jeremy Tooman's second touchdown of the season. Ten-yard touchdown toss by Jerome Bettis. Reed adds the extra points. The bus goes to the air. And find success yet again. 
just like the setting sun on a Brazilian beach, all lovely moments soon come to an end. So enjoy the flavor of Samba football with the last round of the Brazilian Championship, live Sunday at the following time on Alria Dia. Fashion magazine with style. I'd like to offer her a free makeup. And then when her eyes are closed, just cover her in glue and beads. With tips on romance. You're not a bad kisser. It's amazing what you can learn from putting a wig on a cantaloupe. Hobbies. Room 2010. I have a pottery class tonight, and it's really tough to get time in the kiln. And menswear. Talking socks. Just shoot me. Saturday to Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. red time on Super Comedy. Are you excited about games? Concentrate and try the thrill of being a winner. Play and enjoy uplifting and entertaining game shows. Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, and Hollywood Squares. Saturday to Wednesday, starting at these local times on the Hollywood Channel. Proposal? Yes, it is. It is? I think it is. Yes or no? Well, actually, yes, I'm afraid it is. <laughs> Rupert Everett in An Ideal Husband, coming soon. New and exclusive on Super Movies. Towels are out, and this crowd has worked up into a frenzy as Jerome Bettis had run it four straight plays and then throws the touchdown. His third career touchdown pass in six attempts. Kind of fun to see Jerome Bettis come back and just be part of the Steelers football team again this year, but not only is he being a part of it, he's like a difference maker the last four or five weeks. Well, he's rushed for 11 on the season. Now in the books with a touchdown toss. This one bounces right over the head of the Jets, and they'll down it for a touchback. Carter. Well, let's talk about Jerome Bettis' pass. Reggie Tung comes up. He's faked out. David Baird on the outside. The linebackers, everybody coming to stop the run. Alan Fanica pulls. They got everything looking like a run. And it allows Jermaine Tooman just to go untouched. There he goes into the end zone and a nice pass. A nice pass by Jerome Bettis. Roethlisberger celebrates also. Roethlisberger had hit Jeremy Tooman for a touchdown in the Dallas game in that comeback win. And now Tooman snares the pass from Bettis for the lead. Jets. With Pennington looking in the area of McCarrens. God, oh, Ch Chad Pennington rushed himself. He had time to sit up and then rip it out there if he wanted to. Just put everything on it. But sometimes when you're playing a good defense, it gets you out of rhythm, makes you throw before you're ready. And that's why the football came up short. Boy, is he a hero in this town. I was watching his uh, show last night, the bus, doing a cooking segment, all kinds of stuff. I've seen a lot of coaches shows player shows in my time might be the best I've ever seen a lot of personality it's Martin out to the 30 yard line that has nothing to do with the fact it was on our affiliate I have to say that but it was a, I mean just lights it up he's going to be in the studio by the way next Sunday he's already done that once this year on the NFL today he's going to go back in after the game against the Giants well you know what's good Jim he's a good player uh, hell, he's going in the Hall of Fame his stats are unbelievable but You've been around all these guys. He is truly, he's just one of the good guys. Always laughing, always Can't help a but good, like him. Great in the locker room. He's a leader, does it all. Nice run by the Jets for the first down, and Martin gets another attempt. This one for about five. We remind you that Tuesday, the amazing race, the teams trek from Africa to the Berlin Wall and end up in a soapbox derby that's an amazing race of its own. Amazing races Tuesday at 9, 8 central here on CBS. Well, the Jets, they've had a lot of opportunities today to be leading this football game. They have not taken advantage of some of them, but they've got to show patience here. You've got the field position somewhat turned around. Stay with the game plan. It is Martin and running with effectiveness on this series. 
Willie Williams stops him about a yard shy of the first third and less than a yard. And it, again, Jim, we talked about it. They're somewhat a finesse running team, but every once in a while they line up and they knock you back. And that time they had the Steelers going backwards, that allowed uh, Curtis Martin to get some yards. Martin, 20 attempts, 58 yards today. Lamont Jordan takes his place in the lineup. Jordan picked up a first down in the first half on third and one, but the sneak works for Pennington on this play, right behind Kevin Mawai. Kevin Mawai was talking about the big deal this year with the communication this year with the whole team the way it's worked out for the Jets that offensive line finally getting some attention too often you, you, you know the, the only way a lot of offensive lines get measured are two categories sacks allowed and how uh, you know your feature back is, is performing well they obviously are starring in that category they've done them both really well Kevin Mawai the perfect center excellent player as you said he's a good communicator good leader he's the guy you want in front of him he does a terrific job look at Pennington going deep for Moss Moss well covered by Willie Williams Chris Hope also came over uh, they're not gonna get caught looking in the backfield anymore Willie Williams this time you you, you can see it he never slowed down and thought oh the receiver is going to make his break. He's running the whole way and he is in position to make the play on the football. Good job by Willie Williams. They got the corners running backwards. Now you can throw something deep along the sidelines where the receiver stops and comes back with about 10 minutes to go in the game and the Jets down seven second down and 10 from the 41 with Martin. And a, a lot of room on that right side. And he rides behind Brandon Moore and Anthony Beck. And Alonzo Jackson was on his back for a couple of the <laughs> remaining yards on an 11-yard carry and all. I remember a few weeks ago we did we play we did the game where the Jets played the Baltimore Ravens and Mike Nolan the defensive coordinator for the Ravens says the Jets offense is different than anybody else's in the league. They run the football more in obvious passing situations than anybody else by far and they do it because they're good at it. It catches defenses even this late in the year. It still catches them by surprise. And they pick up big yards. Timeout called by Pennington as he was battling the down clock. Jordan had come in for Martin. Jets moved it into Pittsburgh territory down seven. Many أخ محار يفخو لي ممنين أزياج لي في حدام مقدام دي لي فاتير على الرعيون هات نكدوت تابعوا أحداث المسلسل العربي الضخم عائد إلى حيفا عن قصة الكاتب الفلسطيني الكبير الشهيد غسان كنفاني عائد إلى حيفا كل يوم في السادسة ونصف مساء بتوقيت جرينيج على قناة المسلسلات He's a very dangerous man. But a grand jury has indicted Mr. Gale on murder in the second degree. Destiny predetermined. Tell me about the photograph. We found his card on her body. Fate gone awry. Lisa is dead. I could have stopped it. You see, I think you came here for something else. Can you substantiate your whereabouts for the last 12 hours, Mr. Gale? He was here with me. It was an accident. I swear to God, it was an accident. <laughs> What are you doing here? You don't want to know. Last Cry, now showing on TV Max. The Emir Faisal in a direct report on the sports. The third and the final meeting of the first meeting will meet the young people who are talking about the victory in the eyes of the Ittifaq, who is looking for the evidence of the victory on his opponent again. Then the four will meet the Hilal in the third meeting of the fourth meeting. فهل يطأر الهلاليون من هزيمتهم ذهابا أم يكرر الوحداويون انتصارهم إيابا تابعوا كأس الأمير فيصل على الرياضية Well, coming up, the Subway postgame show, time permitting. Greg and the gang back in the studio with the wrap-up of the day. The NFL scores and highlights coming up on the Subway postgame show. Pennington calls the timeout. He faces first and 10. Steelers 47. They bring back in Curtis Martin. 
Dump it off to Curtis. He's at the 40 and weaves down to the 38. About a yard shy of the first. Martin has rushed for 30 yards on this series. He has moved past Jerome Bettis in this game. They were separated by only six yards coming in. There's uh, Emmett, Walter, Barry Sanders, Eric Dickerson is fourth. And now Curtis Martin, number five all time. Jerome is sixth. Martin able to pick up the first down with that carry for two. Already this season, Curtis Martin, Phil, has moved past Thurman Thomas, Franco Harris, Marcus Allen, Jim Brown, Tony Dorsett, and Jerome Bettis this season on the all-time rushing list. And I'd say Eric Dickerson's in a little trouble there, too. I would think about it's close. two weeks away, maybe. Maybe yeah, just some New England time on the 26th could be about right. First down, Jets, 36-yard line. Trying to respond to the Steelers' touchdown. With one of their own, Pennington throws. Oh, what a grab on the sideline by Santana Moss. That was some. There were so many good things that happened on that play. The protection for Chad Pennington. It's a blitz. They pick it up. The backs are doing a really good job in the backfield. And watch the catch on the outside. Reverses his hands. That's how you do it when the football is below your waist. On the sideline as a wide receiver, that is a <clears throat> terrific play. Picked up 13 yards. It was Curtis Martin who picked up the blitz that you saw. Chad Pennington freely talking about that last night in our meeting with him. Veteran running backs know how to pick up blitzing linebackers. The Jets have two that are very good at it. Another first down for the Jets. Pennington inside the 10 and incomplete. Went back to Moss and Willie Williams and Chris Hope knocked them around. Santana Moss. Does a little bit of everything on that last play. He tries to catch the football. Don't let the defenders. Nice move. But then protect yourself too. Chris Hope sees Chad Pennington look to the left and goes flying towards the football. Jets are at the 23. They have not been in the red zone. The red zone being inside the 20 all day long. Not once. Second down and 10. And Martin is... Absolutely smothered back at the 27 by Larry Foote. Loss of four yards. Well, we talked about the Steelers blitzing. Curtis Martin doesn't have good footing, but it doesn't matter because there's about four Steelers in the backfield. Nowhere to go. Good timely blitz by the linebackers of the Steelers defense. Knocks it back to the 27. 13th play of the drive for the Jets. Santana Moss is out. Carter is in. On third and 14. Pennington dumps it over to Beck. Defender slips. That's Polamalu. Gets back up to make the hit. Along with Ferrier. We'll have to bring out Doug Bryan. That gains only four yards. 